So what does one do when you buy an entire estate sale full of stuff? Oh, good God. In South Carolina, drive it all the way to Florida, and then you take it into your own house slash garage slash a storage unit. You have your husband make you a box of patterns so that you have no idea what you're about to look at and that we can all see them together because I, despite being there, do not actually know which patterns I got. I just know that I got not one, not two, but three entire pattern cabinets full in my garage currently. And I don't know what's in them, but my husband did absolutely. Hi. Go ahead and make me a box. So in this box, right here, full of patterns that I have no idea what's in here. Okay, let me be clear. I did put a few of them in here, but I did my best to just kind of reach around and just grab for the things that I know are more fun to look at. So let's see what we have. All right, now we have too many cameras happening. That's what's happening right now. There's only like three. So the box is definitely full. I'm gonna put it on the floor so that I have room to move around. No peeking. Oh, cute. Nice little bodice pattern. Isn't she adorable? Bus 32. Now the thing you should know is that this entire estate does range from small all the way up because she made clothes for the entire town. So this is not just her collection. This is what she made for everybody. So this is Butterick 8583 and absolutely this is 1950s. Very cute little blouse pattern. Nice and easy. He told me not to peek, so I'm trying not to peek. Oh, I hate plastic bags. Meh. All right. Vogue 7262 from the 60s, absolutely. Check out the little button up and it's a half size pattern at a bust 37. And there's nothing super spectacular about this one, <clears throat> but this is a really good example of why you don't put paper clips on you. I'm gonna not get this one limited monetization today. <laughs> that paper clip shenanigan right there, please don't do that. Don't do that. It's a bad plan. Zero out of 10, absolutely not. I'm gonna have to be careful removing that one. Oh, that's cute. That is adorable. That is Vogue 6060 from 1966, 67? I'm just guessing, could be wrong. Check the description that I'm gonna put right here. Look at the little insets through there with the darts that are in the insets. That is adorable. Make a really nice A-line, kind of like a soft bell looking situation. That's cute. Downside, it is the bus 30, but say la vie, we go all the way through. The sizes, we go all the way through the sizes is what I was supposed to be saying. Again, my mouth sometimes goes faster than my brain. That's just what happens on this channel. You're welcome. Oh yes, another good Simplicity half size. This is Simplicity 8159. You're looking at a bust 37 on this one. I shall remove the offending plastic bag as always. Nice, uh, mm, rolled collar, probably. I like the side button and the little kick pleat down on the bottom. That's really cute. Huzzah. Moving on to McCall's 7493. It is a bus size 43. That's right. Yes, we do enjoy that. And I do enjoy the sheath dress, the raglan sleeves up into a very interesting, like no collar situation. Very cute. I like the coat. It's cute. I live in Florida. I will not make it. Ah, yes. And for those of you that are new to this channel, just remember in each of these boxes, I do allow myself to keep one pattern, one singular per box, one pattern. Uh, so this will not be it, but I collect them through the video and then we go to the end and see which one I kept. And next we have another McCall's 5476. In a bus 33 this go around, really nice shirt waist dress. I do enjoy the soft plates at the front with the flat panel. I also kind of enjoy like the two options of sleeves. Does it have a pocket? That's the real question. Wah, wah, no pocket. That's a bummer. Oh, that's cute. Oh, McCall's 4009. Mm. I lo always love the fitted waists up through to the Ampere waist like shelf situation. And this one has some pin tucks along the top to go along with it. That is super cute. It is a bus 30. This one's from the fifties, probably 56. So close, 1957. But I do enjoy everything about that dress. That is supremely cute. 
I'm not even remotely shocked that you liked anything from the 50s. Yeah. <laughs> it's not shocking at all. All right. Ooh, bus 40. Oh. That's cute. Okay, this might go in my maybe pile. Look at that. I like the asymmetry. I like the slightly down on one side. It's a bust 40. I can adjust from bust 40. It ain't great, but I can do it. Wow, that's cute. And I don't like sheath dresses, but that is cute. Yep, that's gonna go in the Stephanie thinks about it pile. All right, what else we got? I do not apologize for anything in her maybe pile. Oh, that's cute too. Okay, this one mainly is for like the fabric. It's a pretty standard dress pattern, but like the fabric in this, the design lines are super cute. And pockets that you could probably hold a wine bottle in, never mad about that. But it does come with the bolero and the fit and flare dress. This isn't quite, I have dress patterns like this, so I will let this one find a new home. Butterick. And the next one is a McCall's. 4661 with a very U-shaped neckline and a wonky collar. Look at that. So it's got the notches on the side, but it also has the U-shape all the way down into a sheath dress with a slightly bloused back. Definitely not my silhouette, but it is cute. And plus 40, not mad about it. This one will go find a new home, assuming it has all the pieces, which by the way, anything you see here that isn't a 1970s McCall's pattern that has multiple sizing, I will have to check that because the only ones that I know are factory folded are those, because those are the ones that she had for sale in her shop. All the, all the rest, all the rest are gonna need to be checked. It's fine, it's all fine. <coughs> all right, another, Holy shit, biscuits. Um, the woman was too stunned to speak. You're welcome. There is no way this is complete. Dang. Hang on, we're gonna remove the plastic and show you what this is. Holy swizzles. It's, it's crunchy in there. Look at that. Oh, it's not complete. I'm telling you that right now. It's not complete at all. I'm gonna cross my fingers that that bodice, the, like the ruched bodice is in there. There, this is not thick enough for that to be complete. My fear is it's just like this skirt piece, the singular, or like maybe two. I'm, that's what I'm, that's currently my fear, but dang, that's good. Oh, it's so crunchy though, oh, man. All right, hopefully let's crunchy this go around. Oh, cute. I like the little notch neckline of that McCall's. That's adorable. And a bust 40. Mm. Don't, I think I have something similar to it, so I'll let this one find a new home. But McCall's 5703 absolutely is precious. I like the softly pleated skirt, or you could do the sheath dress. I do enjoy the little notch neckline, as you can sort of tell. All right, what do we have next? We have what? It's rare that I say this, that I there is a centennial costume pattern that I have not already seen. And yet here we are. I did not know this one existed. This is McCall's 8942. Uh, no sizing on the front. That's always exciting. Oh no, it's just really small. Like the print was really small. It's also a small pattern. <laughs> it's, a, it's a size 10 through 12. So like, Go with God. That is cute. The print is a little on the blurry side, so like it's a little hard to see what's happening here. <laughs> uh, she, she'd be fluffy, so that's gonna take some checking, but very cute. Not for me. And moving on to another thick one. Another McCall's and another, Oh, I was hoping it was gonna be a bus 40. It is not, it's a 31 and a half. This is McCall's 6004. It's a good sheath dress. I like the little gathers through here. That's cute. Oh, this is one of the easy marks. So this is one where you would take <laughs> and it would be a transfer pattern or you could cut it. So TBD, I will insert something here. Editing Stephanie here just to say that this does look like it got a little bit damp over the years. So I would personally advise tracing if you want to pick this one up. Getting my side workout in today. How oh, cute, that's a good Vogue. Vogue 4968 is a bust 40, which we always enjoy. Good button up shirt waist all the way through. Does have that little like slightly U-shaped collar with a little, what the, is that a, what are you? Oh, how odd. 
it actually, the two tabs right through here go up and into the neckline. Huh. That's not something you see every day. No, after the bow catastrophe of 2022, I, I will not put this in my TBD pile because also I don't want to think about how it take to size that thing up, which I would absolutely do wrong. So, you know, not ideal. And now we have Butterick. I can't see that number. 9141. <laughs> this is a bust 36. This is another nice sheath dress, large collar. Oh, I, ooh, the sleeves are fun. Those are cute. There's a little poof down there at the end. Or you can do the short sleeve. Very sweet. I just put a Vogue and a Butterick, and I was going to go put the Butterick and the Butterick. That's supremely helpful. Moving on to another good shirt waist. Wait, is this the one that I did? No, no, it's very close. It's close enough. So this is McCall's at $59.97, and it is a bust 36. I just realized I did not uncurl my hair from the storage curl position. Cool. We, we produce high quality content here on this channel. Thank you so much for playing along. <sighs> Why am I like this? Because it's fun. It's a something. <laughs> Uh, this is a bust 36. It is very cute. I will not keep that. I don't size up from 36s, especially for a shirt waist. Might actually be factory folded because that doesn't feel like it's been used. There. Yeah, I'll have to look at it closer because it just it would be a very messy factory fold. Either that or she folded it back really nicely. So I will take a gander. And I will let you know on my website because I'm not keeping it. All right, what else we got? Oh, I've had this one before. This one is super cute. It's a nice little scoop neck fit and flare. I love the way they do these pleats. It's really, truly spectacular. The bust on this one is a 31 and a half and this is from the 1950s, late 50s. Nope, it is from 1960. So right on that cusp at the beginning of the transition, we still would see fit and flares until about 62, 63. Then it fully transitioned over into mod town. But I do like this one. I especially like the bolero on this one. So if you are a 31 and a half or can size up from 31 and a half, this one is a really cute pattern. It's a lot of McCall's. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. I got a McCall's pattern cabinet. Why am I surprised by these things? What in the swizzle sticks is that? Oh, a sub teen. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I'm reading right now. Why is there a letter in the sizing? This is an eight sub teen. So they would mark it eight S. It's a bust 28. So my child could probably wear this because this is the smallest size. Just It's just a really good casual dress. I do enjoy the detail of the like slight kick pleat below the pocket. I'd be interested to see if it actually is extending into it or if the pocket is where the kick pleat starts for movement and ease. And of course, pockets. Why? As my daughter will tell you, for interesting sticks, mommy. <laughs> so many sticks. Moving right along into... <laughs> oh God, this pattern. Hey, Ned, would you, uh, would you like a Christmas apron? I specifically found this pattern and I was dying laughing. <laughs> I had to put this somewhere in the middle of the stack because I knew she was going to lose it. Yeah, this that's a good pattern. That's a really cute Christmas pattern. I, it does feel, fa this one feels absolutely factory folded. Like, I don't think this has ever been used. Gee, I wonder why. Yeah, no, that's, that is completely factory folded. No question in my mind. So there you go. Would, would you like, because we, no, I was kidding. I'm not going to make him a Christmas apron. <laughs> And now we have something without an envelope. It is, I can't even see it. It's McCall's 5625 and a 6810. Now, because these are all printed tissue patterns, it's not hard to confirm that because inside this packet will also tell you if it's a 6810. And of course they couldn't make it easy for me. No, why would they make it easy for me? That is indeed correct. Cause I can just open the packet and Bob's your uncle. Not that Bob and it is a 6810. Now in this lot, I will say that there are a bunch of these because sometime in the late seventies, they started actually making people take the envelopes off of the patterns and sending them back to the distribution hub so that they would be credited for the unsold patterns. 
How much were they credited? I have no idea. If you know, please let us know down in the comments because I am very still very curious. I, I know some of you did confirm that this happened and that's great. Does anyone know how much they got credited? Because that would be intriguing to me. So I have got a ton of patterns like this. So if that is something that you would be wanting, willing to purchase individually and a lot, please let me know down below because I am having problems figuring out how to list all these things. Boo! So you let me know down in the comments and I will make it happen. Moving right along to another shirt, waist dress. This one's cute. I like the little raglan sleeves all the way up to the larger collar. This is a bust 36, right? 38, 36, 36. This is before the change. This is still in the 60s for butter. I do like that. I really wish they would include the belt. I can almost guarantee they did not. I am a liar. Look at that. It has the belt. Hot dang. Well, that makes it even cuter. Nice. Okay, we're almost to the end of the first row of those. Oh, cute. I like that. That's nifty. So this is Vogue 6711. This is a bust 42. <laughs> yes, we love good bust 42. And again, so high notch neckline. We know these things, but check out the darts. They're the front V-shaped darts, uh, but it is a sheath dress with a little back, like slightly open section so that you can walk because walking is cool in dresses like this. What an idea. Is it interesting enough for me to hang on to? I'm gonna go with no, cause I don't do fancy things like this and I have other fancy dresses that I like more. So this will go to someone else, but it is cute. All right, what else do we got? Oh, oh. that's good. That's fifties. Actually, that might be late forties. This is Simplicity 4201. It is a sheath dress. I like the little gather right at the bust. Oh man, and that belt thing to the side, please have, oh yeah. Like I said, these all need to be ironed. So just know that I will be ironing basically all of these because I don't have enough to do. But yes, there is a sash that goes along with this. Oh man, that's a good one. I like that. And I will say it is a bus 30. Are we surprised? I hope not, because we have all talked about survival bias on this channel and why these exist. Because if you don't know, these were the ones that people deemed too special or grew out of. That's why they still exist. The larger sizes are the ones that went from person to person to person until they were falling apart in your hands. So that is why we see the small sizes. It's not because they were all smaller. It's because these were used the least and the big sizes were used the most. So there, there you go. How, that's only the second simplicity I pulled out of here. That is wild. I've never found one with less simplicity patterns. She must've been a McCall's lady because here's another one. So this is McCall's 6516. This is a bust 32. Just a really good, simple sheath dress. I like the jacket though. That's super cute. And no, unfortunately, the hat, she is not included. And trust me, I'm sad about that too. Oh, all right, we are to the second stack. Stack, second rack, second stack. Rack it, rack em, sack em. I'm gonna shut up now. Why is that so thick? That's what she said. Because there's two of like, them. Yeah, I see that now. There are two of them. McCall 6910. We have another really cute shirt waist dress. There are shirt waist dresses plenty. So if you need a shirt waist dress, I shall have them. And for those of you that are joining us for the first time and may not know this, I do sell all of these at my website, backroomfinds.com. These will all launch a half hour after I launch the video. So that way you have a time to go through the whole video, decide which ones you want, and then head on over to my website. It is a secure website that is through Shopify. No, I am not sponsored, but hey, Shopify, I'm right here anytime now. Back to the patterns. So McCall 6910 is a bus 31 and a half. So this is going to be a junior sizing and it is just a really good staple shirtwaist dress. From 1963. Why did I try to imitate King Charles? I don't know. That was horrible. I, oh, I didn't say it was a good imitation. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's cute. Butterick 9101 is a bust size 36, I believe. Yep, and there it is, right there. Miss Ruth, right on the front. I will say that when Miss Ruth looked for patterns, she had some really good taste. I do enjoy this pocket, especially on this one. I really think that one's absolutely spectacular. 
And this is gonna be late 50s, early 60s. Come here, you thing. How cute. Another little lovely raglan sleeve moment for McCall's 7444. Four, four, four. Yes, that was only three of those. All right, there we are. Uh, this is another really great one that's like a sheath dress or a fit and flare. Another good casual style, but it does have the raglan sleeve and the slightly... It's not the Peter Pan collar at that point, but it's more rounded and with a sharper edge. And the next one is in plastic, and that always makes me nervous. Ooh, hello, Modes Royale. We love a good Modes Royale. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. That is... Okay. The faces I'm making are not of the pattern. They're at the um, state of the instructions that are dubious at best. And gross at worst. What am I looking for? Oh, a lone pattern piece that's trying to escape. This is Modes Royale D12 and it is a sheath dress. It has a very large collar that has a one-sided drape and it looks like very exaggerated pockets. I don't know what size it is. 12, it's a size 12, which in Modes Royale for this one is going to be a bust 32 because Modes Royale does not size their patterns like anybody else. Ain't a grant. Oh, oh hey look. That's really similar to the other one I found, but I like the one I found first. This is Vogue 5098. This is gonna be from the late 50s, early 60s. It's another good sheath dress, an asymmetrical top and a larger, but this time the collar is much more rounded. I do enjoy the double darts up. It's not for me. I prefer the other dart situation and let that just be that. But this is also a bust 40, which we do always two thumbs up enjoy. Oh cute Kate pattern. Simplicity 6680. I like this one. Oh man. It is going to be a bus 38 to 40 and it feels factory folded. Okay. I'm going to think about it. Oh, it's so cute. And the crunchy plastic. So let's get rid of the crunch <laughs> plastic. Go away. And then we have a sheath dress with, again, a Ruth had excellent pocket choices on these. And man, oh man, that collar is something else. This is probably, it's a size 18, so it's either gonna be a bust 38 or a bust 40. Open up and let me see. There is watermarks on this one. Watermarks, but not mold or mildew. No, just rust discoloration. So it, it is rusty. It's not mold or mildew though. So, okay. I feel better about that. Ah, bust 38. Ah, ah, ah. What else we got? We got another coat. Ooh, bust 44 coat. Heck yeah. That's cute. Simplicity 5526. Really nice, just straight line coat. Got some patch pockets out front or don't if they're not your vibe. I don't think there's inline pockets at all. No, there's definitely not, but it is a really nice coat pattern. Very cute and we dig a bus 44. Oh, fun illustration on that one. This is Vogue 7189. It is a bust 38. It is gonna come with the top, the skirt and the jacket. And this one has inline pockets. This is definitely 1960s Vogue. Prime and also, oh, uh oh. Hmm. Okay, so this one has watermarks, but this one I think has mold growing on it. Well, if that ain't a big old bummer, it's not a lot, but you don't need a lot for it to mess with your health. I will have to try and open this one up to see if I think freezing it will kill what little mold is in here. As you know, like the freezer does kill the mold and then you do some white vinegar wipes, but you also, you might also be destroying the pattern at the same time. So you just have to go into that knowing, but just remember moldy patterns, you must be careful with because your health is more important than a piece of vintage. And hopefully a whole ha ha ha. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, Vogue Couturier 1950s. Holy crap. Wow. Now listen, is a sheath dress the most amazing thing I've ever seen? No, but do you find large format vocatoriers all the time? Also no. That's really good. All right, now the real question, what size? Oh, hey, not even tiny. It's bus 36. 
All right, uh, the envelope has seen better freaking days. Did I mention she didn't have them in real pattern cabinets? They were in a simplicity, so she had them all folded. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to iron every single one of these. To be fair to that one, I looked at it four times and I had to keep going back to it. Oh, well, uh, th that is, that's intriguing. <laughs> Vogue 5383 is interesting. It's got, it's not quite a boot pocket, but it's close. It's like a nestle pocket for your, for, for, I don't, I don't know what those pockets are for. Yeah, I just, I just don't know. <sighs> that's all I got. It is a bus 34. <laughs> that's, I have no more words for that pattern other than, what? Okay. Sure. Oh, cute little slip pattern. Mm, that is a questionable color. Why are you that color? Are you rust? You are rusty. Oh, that's, that's not ideal. Uh, unfortunately, there will be a fair amount of these that kind of look like that, uh, which I will have to investigate further to see if that is just rust stains because her cabinets were very rusty, which rust isn't the end of the world. It's just a stain color thing. Uh, it just means you do need to trace them, but dang it, that is a super cute slip pattern. Butterick 69.94, it is a bust 32. I will have to investigate. This will be in my investigation pile where I'll put on my best Sherlock Holmes hat and try and figure it out for you. Oh, cute. Do always love when I find this one. Simplicity 4260. This is one that has a super interesting like V diagonal neckline that goes into a button front. Very cute. This one is a bust 32. It's from the early 50s, if I recall correctly, but it is a nice, good staple. It does have that rolled collar option as well and definitely not factory folded. And thankfully this one doesn't look too bad. This is just a standard 50s pattern, what this looks like when I find it. So nothing too scary in that one. McCall 6072, on the other hand, what in the swizzles is happening here? I do enjoy the inset. That's always a really good sleeve. That inset sleeve is always fun. This is a bust 34, uh, but I am, again, that top makes me nervous, but not, it's not out of the realm of possibility that this is fine, but that would be one that I would also look at. And I will also remove the bloody paper clips. I gotta move fast, cause I'm sure my battery is almost dead. And maternity, maybe, or just a duster. Unclear at this moment. This is Butterick 4626 in a bust 34. The bow though is killing me. The bow with the Peter Pan collar. Uh, definitely a duster house coat. Are you maternity? No, no, you're not. Definitely 1960s, very cute little Butterick. Oh my God. The reason I laugh every time I find this photo, friends, is because this is one of the OG patterns to me. This is one of the very first ones I found in the back room of an antique mall that started this whole freaking thing in 2011. So it it's always fun to see this one come back around every once in a while. This is McCall's 5936. This one's a bust 34. It's a three piece suit, good little standard, but it just, holds a special place in my heart because it is one of the ones that started this whole thing. I was taking photos of these on the ground at the guest housing of the opera that I was staying at while working as a stage manager. So like full circle friends, full circle. Oh, <laughs> excellent, excellent. We have the accessories to go with that apron, baby. Butterick 5093. <laughs> I, here's the thing. That wreath right there, I guarantee you was in my house at least through the 90s when we moved. I know for a fact my mother used this pattern at one point. It's, yep, those or oh, those ornaments, man. Oh, it does have a little bit of the rust discoloration on the back, but it looks to be fine. Yeah, the pattern's fine. It's just the, it's just the back that's cut rust, but oh gosh. The vintage Christmas patterns always crack me up. And like I said, there's lots of them without envelopes. This one, ooh, nice, 42. So we'll have to see if that is a bust 42 or a size 42, because in the 70s, there are two different, and that could be up to a bust 44. I will go investigating, I will put it here. But yes, this is a really nice tucked front and a maxi skirt looks like with a little duster overlay. Very, very cute. Lots of pattern pieces and just your standard pattern. So everything looks good. Oh, here we go. Here's some of the factory folded ones with a Marlowe's Corner Raglan sleeve. I don't know why my voice just cracked there, but I feel like that's accurate. This is McCall's 5785. 
And this is the large, which means it's gonna be probably a bus 40 to 42. Yeah, sure is. Oh man. Oh, does it come with the belt though? Cause that would make me eat my words a little bit. Do, 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 do you have the belt? So I'm just gonna assume that belt doesn't exist in this pattern, which is kind of a bummer cause that would have been awesome. But I do actually kind of like this like super billowy dress situation. I wouldn't wear it, but I know that I'm not for everyone. So that means this is factory folded and was ready to find a new home and probably has other sizes as well. Cause these always come in size ranges and she definitely had lots of size ranges. Speaking of Marlowe's Corner, <laughs> you've got McCall's 5461. Now we're to the other end of the spectrum. So this shows you how small they can go. This is a 30 and a half size six. I actually really like this little sundress number. I want to say I found one of these before on my website or maybe it was something very similar, but I do really like the lines of that one. And I think this one, ooh, this one might be a romper too though. That could be cute. Yeah, it's a jumpsuit and romper. There it is. Isn't that cute? Oh God, I love this one. <laughs> McCall's 5360, the infinite dress. They again go with the bold choice of saying one size, which we've already tested that on this channel. And sometimes it's successful and sometimes it is not. So that would be interesting. Uh, but it says very specifically for non cling stretchable knits, which a uh, fun fact, I definitely have those in my store now. Uh, okay. So this one size got specific in one way. It tells you the hip sizes it says hip size 32 to 38, which, um, <clears throat> that's not one size. I mean, it technically is, but it doesn't count all the sizing. So, Maybe we shouldn't have said one size. Just, just throwing that out there. Throwing it out there, seeing if it sticks. Oh, and we have an advance coming to the party. Advance 7991. It is a breast 28, which is a size 10, which probably would fit my child at this point. I do like the little square neckline, the super full skirt. Very, very sweet little kids pattern. And I know there are more little kids because like I said, she made stuff for the entire town. That goes from we to all the way up. That should be a size and patterns. We eat all the way up. And ho, 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 yeah. Buddy, that's cute. Oh, look at the neckline on that Vogue. Vogue 8832, definitely from the 50s. From 56 to be most precise. But check out that like W neckline thing that's going on. Oh man. And the double darts all the way up. Nice sheath dress. Wow, that's nice. What size are you? Bus 38, little too far away for me to be able to do that. So I will let someone else do that. But dang, that's a good pattern. Which, oh, greens, very green. McCall's 4956. This is a bust 36. I like that square neckline. That's my goal. If I can find one of the patterns in her stash that has a good square neckline, not quite like this one, cause this one was annoying, but that would be lovely. I really do enjoy this. And it does come with the cummerbund and it says easy to sew for who Brenda, but that's neither here nor there. They were making a bold claim. It's called marketing kids. All right, we're, we're getting close to the end of the box there. And did I stick some of the really good patterns at the end of the box? Absolutely I did. I'm so glad you asked. This is Simplicity 3437. It is a bust of 40. And it looks like, a, like one of those faux wrap dresses. I don't think it's actually a wrap dress. I think it's one of the faux ones. Yeah, no, that's just a surplus top. That's not actually a full wrap dress. Does come with the soft pleat slightly off center. <laughs> slightly. Wow. I'm running out of words now. And I do really enjoy the fullness of the skirt. Looks lovely. Bust 40, always good. Won't be staying with me because it's not the square neckline that I'm looking for. And. Oh, that's fun. Check out the collar on that thing. Dang. That's huge. Oh man, but can you imagine that with a really big full skirt instead of the sheath dress? Oh shoot, that's fun. Hmm. Okay, that might need to be staying with me. McCall's uh, 5594. Hmm, hmm, maybe, maybe. Oh, that's cute too. Take a look at that jacket. It's got the little like sweetly notched in. It's not even a collar. It just like kind of comes in and out. Wow. Now I won't be keeping this one because this has that same type of collar bow situation on the dress that I didn't like, but it is a bust 40 and it's from the 50s. So this is, this will absolutely find a new home. I'm sure with one of you lovely people. Well, that's, that's not helpful now, is it? 
I'm only allowed to keep one out of this. I'm just going to say that out loud to myself. One. Advance 8350 is a basic pattern bust 44. Now, am I a bust 44? No. Could I trace it off and just make it up to my size? Yes. Will I though? That's the real question because, oh, it's so cute though. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let it go. Cause I just won't, I, I don't adjust my own patterns yet. I, and it's not even my size to begin with. So that it's easy. It's done. It's done. Okay. Next one. Cute. Nice little simplicity. 47.89. This is going to be a A-line dress. I do like the inset front pockets. I always do wonder why the pockets are so far front, but that's neither here nor there. It is a bust 36, absolutely from the 60s as we get into the more stylized drawings on the front of Simplicity. And how many more till the good ones? Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Holy crap. McCall's 3831 just came out the gate strong. So you've got the top where it's got the little detail. You've got the sheath dress, which is fitted very well. And then you have the back drape and a kick pleated skirt. It's a bust 34, so it's not hard for me to say goodbye, but dag on whoever gets that. Please make it up and show me because that is going to be spectacular. And now we come to the final bunch, which are the best in the entire box. How do I know this? Because I went back down to the garage and I aimed for anything that looked like a large format Vogue or a Modes Royale. So you're welcome. Now, no, I did not look at these. So you're still getting my reaction because I just saw that they were folded, closed my eyes, grabbed the things and moved on. So with this, we start with whatever the heck this is. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I told you. Oh, sorry. The envelope is, these are not good. Don't even come. These are not good envelopes. We're not even pretending they are. Check that out. Notice who the designer is, friends. That's right. Lavin made patterns. Uh-huh. Sure did. This is Vogue Paris original 1385. It is going to be a two piece dress. And then it does look like the jacket is included. The jacket kind of stays open, but has a little belt tab here. Very, very cute. And oh, buddy, bus 36. We'd love to see it. Yeah. I saw Landvin and went, what? I must run. Okay. And another Vogue special design. So close and yet so far. Anyway, another fantastic Vogue pattern is going to be 4043 with a bust of 40 and a wild little pleated collar. I definitely am not that vibe of Vogue, so that will absolutely find a new home. But I do enjoy like the slightly off center as we have seen on this channel. I enjoy things that are slightly askew, but yes, lovely little probably early 60s pattern maybe late 50s. Now, tis a farm and ranch pattern department pattern with no idea of what is inside and a rusty AF paper clip that was closing it. So I don't know what this is. I just grabbed it because it's always fun to have true mysteries. So we shall find out together in three, two, one. That's the back of the pattern. Oh, cute. Very, very cute. That is going to be printed pattern number 4797, size 14, which probably is going to be either a bus 32 or a bus 34, a little on the small side. But check out the fit and that notched collar, that like funky little collar situation. Ah, yes. And, <laughs> oh no, you're very crunchy though. Look at the pretty Pierre Cardin. I know it looks horrid. Here, I'll iron it and get you a better shot. But look at that the high neckline bodice, the very deep jacket and the pencil skirt. Some of these patterns are just beautiful to look at just the cover. And that one is going to be a size 10. So that one is going to be the smaller bust 31. And we have more patterns that were folded in half. <sighs> oh, that's fun though. Yeah. Hang on. I got to get it out of the, the tape situation here happening. I'm not going to be sad about tearing this plastic because this plastic is probably rotted as heck. Usually I don't do that to Modes Royale, but in this case, I'm making an exception because you need to see that without the blue in the way. Check out that cool tab accent. Man, oh man, that's nifty. So this is a size 14, which means it's a bus 34. And I bet you this has not been used. Yep, nope, 
Never been used. Not one time. I'm holding it down because it's folded and it just wants to go back to where it was. So I will do my best to iron it flat and find it a new home. We have one more crunchy McMode's Royale here. Fragile, but look at that. Another good fit and flare waist dress. Fit and flare shirt waist dress is what I was trying to say there. But like, check out the cute little pocket with the bow accent and the nice little tab accents on the sleeves. They're very cute. It's not the most stunning modes Royale, don't get me wrong, but it's still very cute. Very good pattern. Size 12 is going to be a bust 32. Yeah, and you're a little on the crispy side. The crispity side. Crispy. Last two. And we're gonna go with this one because I think the other one is better. I'm trying not to look at them. Oh, but this one's still good too. Look at the Vogue Tourier. Oh my gosh. I love the fitted waist. Oh my gosh. Look at the weirdo jacket though. Like the little crop bolero jacket. It, I think it's the pockets to me that make it feel a little odd and off, but very, very, I mean, over, it's still a really cute outfit. I just, I'm like, that's an intriguing jacket you got there. And this one is, holy. <laughs> Bust 40. Do I need this? Do I need this? Uh, if I was a bust 40 still, I think I would just do it. But the idea of sizing a Vogue still scares even me. And it's okay to admit that you're still scared of things, friends. That is completely normal and a human behavior. But it means that one of you is going to get that instead. And now for the best pattern. Oh my god. And she's not, the envelope's not in good shape. Not at all. Look at that Vogue Couturier. From probably the late 40s, early 50s? Nope, sorry, 53, right there on the bottom. Look at the asymmetry, look at the tab accents, look at how the skirt piece swoops across and comes down into a pocket. It's a pocket, y'all! Now this one, thankfully, is not gonna be hard for me because this is a bust 30, so that it's easy, easy to find a new home. And as you can see, like, the envelope is definitely not in great shape. I'm not even gonna fool you with that one, but like, that is, I just hope that's complete. All right, and now it's time for everyone's favorite section of which one will she keep? Is it the McCall's with a super large collar? Is it the cape, which is highly impractical in Florida? Or is it the very asymmetrical but cute Vogue? I'm not gonna lie, y'all. It's This one's really easy for me. It's the Vogue. It's the Vogue all the way. Vogue 5937. Absolutely. I know I just said the words that a Vogue scares me to size up, but this one's a bit more simple and I feel like it's a bit more doable than that Vogue Tourier. Plus I'd be going from a bus 30. Holy Mick, no. So this is absolutely the one that I will be keeping for my personal stash. And if you would like to grow your personal stash, do not forget that on my website, everything will be available half hour after this video launches, which let's be real. If you've reached the end of the video, they're probably already live because I'm long winded. And if you're curious as to what else this haul had, I will direct you to this video in case you missed it, which is how exactly I came about to buy the entire estate. And YouTube thinks you will like that one right there. And until next time, friends, so in chaos, bye. Oh. Hold for adjusting. We can fix that in post-production. He swears he's gonna start a channel. I've yet to see it. <laughs>